Today we are talking about a wicked fast jet stream. Right. It is time for the Faraday bonus. Well, I'm not sure if you heard about this, but there was a wicked, fast, extreme jet stream in the Northeast, D.C., New York, and out into the Atlantic. It was 265 miles an hour. That's how strong the wind was at 35,000 feet. That's very strong. Anywhere over 220 miles an hour, and it becomes somewhat rare. So what was happening? Well, first of all, we had winds converging, a jet stream from the north, a jet stream from Florida all coming together and just like kind of squeezing the winds in between two big buildings in a big city, the wind is funneled through. That's number one. Number two, it was frigid up in Canada. We had a big warm dome uh, to the south in the Atlantic and that contrast sped those winds up. So take a look at this. A United flight, United flight 64, went from New York City to Lisbon, Portugal at 835 miles an hour. The flight took five hours and 44 minutes as opposed to the normal time, which is six hours and 40 minutes. So it arrived about an hour earlier. Now, a warming climate is actually causing the winds to increase. It's a 5% increase in the fastest wind speed. So the result is 240 mile an hour wind becomes a 265 mile an hour wind. So of course the question is, did we then break the sound barrier? And so it looks like we might have because the, it went 835 miles per hour and the speed of sound is 767 miles per hour, but the winds were traveling at a certain speed as well. So the plane is traveling along with the winds that are very fast, so it didn't actually end up breaking the sound barrier. Yeah, so it, 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 835 miles an hour is incredibly fast for flight, uh, but because it's traveling with the winds, with no, if there were calm winds, yeah. then 835, that would have broken the sound barrier. And that is your Baradelli bonus.